Hey guys! Today we're making this cute miniature soda stream. Hope you'll enjoy! I first rolled out a couple of sheets of black clay on my pasta machine, stacked them and used the end of an X-Acto knife to make a dent. Stack a few more sheets, add pressure on top to make it go at a slight angle and place the first piece on top. I then added some texture using the textured part from the handle of an X-Acto knife, trim off any excess, then cut a block to fit on top and add this to the base. Round off the top edges and pre-bake. Now roll out another sheet and use any type of rolling pin to shape it. You want the top portion to be thinner than the rest. Trim it and add it to the soda stream, then bake again. Then cut and bake a small square and glue this in place. If you prefer, you can of course add this before baking. Take the holder from a T-line and use this for the strip of metal that goes around the machine. Glue this in place as well. Take a thin strip of metal, form a circle and glue in place. I then took a couple of pieces of wire. For the first piece I just made a U-shape, then hammered that to flatten it and glued it to the machine. Cut a short piece for the straw thingy, attach it and paint it white with acrylic paint. Last piece of wire you need is for the stand, just bend and hammer this as well. For decorations, cut a tiny oval piece of metal, glue this to the front and use grey acrylic paint to make some dots to represent the levels of carbonation. For the bottle, I'm going to be using a pipette. I believe the larger one is 0.5 milliliters and the small one is 0.2. The smaller one technically fits 1 to 12 scale almost perfectly, but I'll be using the larger one as that one has a better looking curve. There's not really that much difference anyway. For the soda itself, I mixed some resin and added a tiny bit of red food coloring. Since it's soda, you don't have to worry about the air bubbles. And then for the cap, I just cut and baked a small piece of pommel clay. Paint both the cap and bottom piece with silver colored paint. Finally, I took some white clay and made the bottle for the concentrate.
After baking, paint on the details using acrylic paint. Then seal with glaze and you're done.